Okay, hey guys, welcome back. It's 2024 and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my script, what I use when I perform a recon in Bug Bounty and when I perform a recon like on my job, when I'm doing a pen test for a company. Uh, this script has helped me a lot already. I have found some really nice bugs with it. Uh, most of the time people forget like how many subdomains they have, they forget to update things and that's where you can find like easy vulnerabilities. So I think this is a really nice tool and if you use it, you'll probably find a bug with it eventually. So what's going to be the structure of this video because uh, I'm not going to give you guys the whole script just here or just on a, on a github page if you want to guys have the full script just join the discord i will post the script right there and you can download it from uh, from discord and maybe we can have a chat in discord as well so that will be nice but for the people who don't want to join the discord channel i will code a part of the script the full basics you need to create a script on your own so i'm going to build up the functions in python i'm going to show you guys like how I think when I try to build a script, how I organize my functions to make it really nice and clean code. Uh, because yeah, I am a, uh, <laughs> I am a programmer from school, so it, it, I, I think it's really fun for me to, to show you guys a little bit how I think when I start programming these things. It's in Python, uh, like I just said, but if you guys want to do it, you can also do it in Bash, Golang, Rush. Uh, it's, yeah, you can, you can create this in every language you like. I just did it in Python, but don't feel restricted to use only Python. You can really use every, every language you like. But I think Python was great. I also did create a part in Bash uh, Bash is also great, but I feel more comfortable in Python, so I'm just going in Python. Okay, let's go to the video and show you guys like how the script is working and what the script just does. Okay, so showing you guys the script. First thing, what we're gonna do is like, what you first need, of course, is you need a, a bug bounty program where you have like a wild card for the domain. So like you see here, so this is how I approach, yeah, not always, but when I do a bug bounty or when I do a pen test, I also use my script for pen test. Uh, in the pen test, I, I know we have also scope and rules what I need to follow, but most of the time I can scan for all the subdomains. In a bug bounty pro program, it is different, so make sure to read everything pretty good and uh, to check if you have a wild card or not. But for this, video I, I was looking for a nice wildcard so we're gonna copy this one and now I'm gonna show you guys like how the script is working so this is the script what I'm using for recon and things like that and I will set for you guys a base later in the video so we're gonna code a part of the script and if you guys want to have the script like I said before you just can join my discord channel and I will post the full script in the discord channel and maybe we can build it to uh, we can expand it together or things like that so that will be really nice so first what you need to do when you have uh, the script and you have the thing uh, and you have the you have a domain you can run this by python 3 scanner.py and it will ask you to paste the domain so paste we have this innogames.com and you can run this and what you will see is going to harvest things and it, it has a lot of functionality inside of it what it's going to use and it's going to create folders and with these, these folders we can like yeah find find more things uh, this will take a while because it's doing a lot so i'm going to pause the video right here and we're going to continue when uh, the scan is ready Okay, so welcome back guys. Uh, like you see, I did interrupt this with my keyboard, uh, but I'm gonna show you guys like this is where we were. So because it, is, it was a bigger target than I thought, I didn't test this one before, so it was taking a really lot of time. Uh, but I have enough data to, to show you guys uh, what, this, what this is doing. So first off, like you see, it's, 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 it's gathering a lot of subdomains. So 
let's go and see what the structure is. So if you guys uh, go and do an ls, you can see like the files and directories and you will see like uh, the script creates a new directory for the domain that you're scanning. So every domain gets a new directory. It's really uh, nice uh, to have that file structure. You can go in this directory, uh, it's Eno games. And in this directory, we have another directory recon. I already have created this recon directory. It's the only directory, like if you go to here and you go ls, you will see there's only recon, but when you're uh, expanding the script, you can create other directories like uh, attack vectors or I don't know, uh, maybe some, yeah, things that you want to test, uh, you can put it in here. Uh, so this is just my recon file, so this is nothing to do with approaching a target, this is just really a recon script until now, but I'm keep working on this, I have some other scripts I also use, but I want to show you guys this one. So. Let's go into the recon directory. In this recon directory, you will see a lot of things. Let's clear the screen a little bit. You will see there's a file on the, that txt. This file on the txt has all the subdomains that it found. So if you're gonna get this file on the txt, you will see like this domain had a lot of subdomains. So this was a big, uh, this was a big uh, attack factor. So the scan would have taken really, really long because the other thing what we are doing is like if you clear this again and we go to the HTTP probe, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna ls this HTTP probe for a sec. You will see there's an alive.txt. So if we get this, you will see it's again the same subdomains, but the difference, the difference here is we know for sure these subdomains are alive. So what it's going to do, it's going to do a, a quick ping scan to see if it can reach these subdomains. So that's something nice to, to know, like here we have Adam that you know games like, and, and what, you, what you want to look for is like file cloud, things that looks interesting to you, or what you can do is, what I do is when I have time, I, I will go through them all, or uh, you can install that it takes like a print screen of the page to see what it's running on and things like that. But I think this is really, really handy. The next thing what the scanners do is it's going to take for a potential takeover. So if you ls this, you see there's a, there's a txt file. If you get this, uh, let's go to potential takeovers. Okay, there's, there's no potential takeover for this enogames.com, okay. But it does a lot more. It's uh, we can also go to the scans. So if we uh, ls into scans, you will see it's gonna have a mmap scan. Like I'm not sure now because I did. Uh, yeah, like you see, I did failed. Uh, I did end the the scan quickly. But what this normally will do is this will uh, mmap all the alive uh, that txt files. So if you run the script and you let it outrun, you will get like a basic nmap scan of which ports are open and what is running on those ports of every file in the uh, every file in the HTTP probe. So every domain, every subdomain, I mean, sorry, every subdomain from this will get an nmap uh, scan be done uh, and that will result in the scan scans that uh, and map file but like you see this really a lot so this would would have take like several i think took several hours to complete uh because the when i ended it you see like uh only the first to end the full ping scan was already taking like 30 minutes uh, and i was waiting al already like 30 minutes uh so that's uh with these big programs that can maybe be like a pain in the ass, but you can run this when you go to sleep and when you wake up, it's done uh, and you can start hunting for vulnerabilities uh, and it's really nice. I think the MMAP scan, what's in it, I think it's really, really helpful because I, I did already find sometimes a lot of 
things running like uh, an FTP port that is that was open, uh, things like that. What maybe can be interesting if you're if you're looking for for things, uh, because these big domains often, like like you see, have a lot of subdomains. Not everything can be secure a lot of times. So if on one subdomain they did forget to have an FTP or something running and, and, and forget to change some default credentials, you already can have a big finding. Okay, so this is like the approach of the script. This is what it's doing. Now let's go through the script. Like, like what I said is I'm gonna show you guys, like let's go to Visual Studio Code for a sec. Uh, oops. Yay, this is, this is the scanner we're gonna create. Oh, of course. Let's create a new file. Okay. And what I wanna do with you guys is I wanna show you guys the basics of how you start building this. And if you guys wanna have the full script, you just join the Discord. So full, uh, let's, sorry. Okay, sorry, I was, so let's just say <laughs> print, let's drop a few lines first. Let's say for full script, join the Discord. So you all know, but what I think is really important, like if you guys, uh, want to have the script and you want to keep building on this, it's important to just have a basic know-how of how things work. Okay, first thing what we need is we need to import that we can go to the OS uh, so that we can use uh, Linux commands. One thing for sure is you can also just cr create this in bash. You also can create a script in bash. I choose for Python because I love to have some structure and some uh, methods and I'm faster in Python maybe, but you can run this and also in, in Bash. Uh, now we wanna we wanna create sub processes, and this is just like the basic how we build these things, and that's where I'm gonna stop here. <laughs> not not here, but and just remember if you wanna have a full working script, the best thing what you can do is go to my Discord and complete it. But when you understand how to start to build this, you can build more on your own. So I think this is really helpful. Okay, so first thing what we wanna do is we wanna make uh, the directories. Why? Because it's, that's the thing we do. Because first we, we, we did create first like, okay, this is the domain name, make this directory. This is a recon, make the directory recon. So that's is something that, uh, yeah, that needs to be done. So what we're gonna check is if not OS done had a path don't exist. So if the path not exists, so there's a ooh, sorry file underscore paths underscore pad I thought. Oh sorry. If file path exists, I need to type directory, of course, directory. So if it not exists, we want to create this. Uh, we want to create this directory. So OS dot make makes directories, and then we're gonna create the directory. So this function is just to create like directories. The 
domain name directory, recon directory, HTTP probe directory, all those things. Next thing we want to create files. So we're going to do create make file. And this we're going to say like file underscore pad. I need to make sure like, and when we have this file pad, we're going to do the same if not, not that OS dot pad. Oh, not OS dot pad pad. Okay. Wow. Sorry. If not, oh, pass exists again. And then we're going to say file pad. And then we're going to do like the same thing, but no, instead of, uh, uh, make days, we can say open and then we can say file pad. File pad. And if we do this, we can say like a, and no, we're going to close this again. So this will create, this is a function. This will create every file. So let me take a sip of water and for a moment. <clears throat> Next, what we want to do is we want to run commands really easy that we just can uh, make sure we call this function and run the command. So we're going to say def run shell and then run a shell command <clears throat> and it's going to have a command. So this can be really, really stupid ls, uh, but, have, but this is the, the command and this is a sub process and in the sub process we can run, oh, we can run. And if you can run this, we can run the command command and uh, we're going to be like, I think shell equals true. My, and I think this true is not okay. It needs to be capitalized. True. Okay. So this function is gonna run the commands. So let's break this down for now already. So we can, we already make directories, bush. We have, we can create the files and we can run commands. That is already a nice uh, basic. Let's create a function that writes, ooh, write lines to, to the files. So we have a file and we have a file path, file path. And in this, so when we go to this file path, we want to open we want to open this file and we want to write ooh, file path and we want to write to this. So that's in Python. It's going to be R ooh, R inside this. Did I miss a comma or something? No. And now we're going to say like as a file, as a file, as a file and return file that, ooh, that read lines, lines, lines. Okay. So this, what this is going to do is this is going to make sure like when we, uh, let's say search, uh, for subdomains, this is going to make sure that the all these subdomains going to be placed in the file with the file name, uh, let's say for example, final.txt. So it's going to create like this and it's going to write and it's not going to create this final.txt, but it's going to write in this final.txt file. So that's what this function is going to do. Okay. So when we have this, we can write files. We also want to, of course, uh, read uh, read uh, lines of a file because we want to. Why we want to read lines of a file? Because in this file at txt, we're gonna read through all these lines of 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 subdomains to make sure we can scan this with a pink scan and we know which of these are alive. 
So we want to create a read lines from file. Read lines from, oops, sorry, from files. Okay. And then we're going to say like again, like the file path, it's going to be the same. And now it's going to be almost exactly the same, but it's going to be a read function right now. Oh, I did create a read function here. This needs to be a write function. You can like maybe copy this. Let's do this. It's going to be a read function now. Okay. And what is gone? I also did create read here, read, write lines, read lines. Okay. Sorry. So this is going to be the right line. This is going to be the read line. And that's already a pretty good basic. Now we have like for, for this function, we can create like a, a main, a main function. And in this main function, we can go on work. So what is the first thing? So we're going to just call like this main function, huh? like you guys know. So what we're going to do is here, we're going to say for full script, join discord. Okay. Next thing, what we want to have is we're going to save a domain, domain equals, and then we're going to set an input. And we're gonna ask, enter a domain you like. So with this domain, we can start scanning. So first thing what we wanna do is we wanna make a directory. Why? Because we have our domain. And the first thing what we did was, just to show you guys again, the first thing what we did, let me change back, change back, First thing what we what, what the script did was creating this domain, uh, creating this directory of its domain. So next thing what we want is let's go back, uh, change directory, you know, games, and let's say ls, is we wanna have this, ooh, sorry, we wanna have this recon file. Uh, to be honest, uh, you don't need, uh, you don't need the recon file. I th it's, it's optional. So if you don't want to do this, it's it's optional. So we're going to say make directory. We're going to say os.pad. And in this os.pad, we can join. And we're going to join like the URL is the domain. Do, <laughs> domain, domain. Here you go. We're going to join the domain. And we're going to add in this domain, we're going to add Let's use single brackets. We're gonna add recon. Do I have one, two, one, two? Yes. But this one is optional. Why, why I'm doing always, okay. How do I comment this back out? Like I used to work in, uh, let's see. Oh yes, of course. Sorry. So it's Python. So this one is optional. If you want to have the structure of this. So if you want to have this structure, You can do that, but like I said, now we did create this and this one is optional. So that's, yeah. Okay, next thing I think is really important when we're building something like this is you're gonna, in your mind, and you're gonna, uh, we're gonna create directories. Di oops, sorry, directories, stories. Direct directories. Yeah, make sure like I don't create typos. And we're gonna create the directories we wanna have. I'm just gonna add for now 
two, two directories so you guys just understand what I mean and you can get the rest when you just get my script. So we have the recon and in the recon we're gonna have the scans. Uh, next off we're gonna create the recon and we're gonna create the HTTP probe. HTTP probe. Okay, so right here you're gonna create every directory you wanna have and the path you want that directory to have. So that's what you're gonna do here. And then we can create all these directories. And how we can do this, we can say for directory, directories, it, oh, for directory in directories, directories. So for every directory in the directories, we're gonna create make directory, and we're gonna create make the directory. Oh, T, this one. But what we now do is when you do this, it will not join. So what you need to do is you need to always use this upper, uh, OS dot uh, pads, pads dot join, join, and then when you can join it, you always need to have, yeah, like really important. I did forget it a lot. Domain. Okay. So what it's going to do, it's going to do the domain. So let's say domain is test.com, test.com, comma, uh, recon dash scans. If you don't do it, it's just going to add it in the uh, main, in the file, in the main directory you're working on. Okay. And the next thing, what is really important now is we're gonna do exactly the, sa the same, whoop, whoop. But for the files, uh, make sure you're in the, in the, and then we're gonna call this one files. And this files, it's gonna be an array and it's gonna have like, we have this recon, uh, let's say scans and then from the scans, we don't need something in the scans. So we need in the HT Pro what we have here, let me see real quick. Uh, LS HT Pro, we need the alive.txt file. So we need alive.txt file like this. And why is this one now being a pain in my ass? Oh, okay, like this. Let's create another one just for fun. What we also have is, let's see, so you guys understand. Okay, we have another file. Uh, final.txt, it's in the recon. So what we're gonna do is again, recon dash final.txt. So you understand the meaning. Every txt file, uh, or uh, thanks to every txt file, you're gonna put in the file structure. And then we're gonna do the same for file in files. We're gonna say make, make, files, how did it make file? Probably I did need to use it. Make file, we're gonna say os.pad, pad.join. Jo, join, why am I, oh, to complete this, not always. And when we join this, it's, it's almost every time the same, so it's gonna be domain. And from domain, we're gonna say, File. We're gonna create the file and done. So what this script already is doing right here is it's already uh, creating all the files and directories we have in our uh, in our arrays. Okay, 
Last thing what I'm gonna show you guys, let's go down a little. And this is the last thing I'm gonna do with you guys. And if you wanna have the rest of this application or this structure, or you can try and create the rest on your own, or you're gonna join the Discord and you can just copy it and use it. But I think it's also really useful to try and create these things on your own. And just follow this along, just to you, that you understand a little bit better the, the code and you can expand it for your needs because sometimes you just wanna add things. Okay, now it's gonna be fun. So we're gonna say print and in this print, we're gonna add something. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say like, I like to use some like this because it looks nice when you fire it up. And first thing is harvesting. Har Vesting subdomains with asset finder. So first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna harvest subdomains with the asset finders and this is gonna be really fun because we can just say asset finder command, let's say equals and you're just gonna create the command. What you wanna have, uh, let's make the F here. Because when you do the F and then asset finder and for asset finder you need a domain. Oh, I'm outside of this one. Okay. Oop, didn't see that. You need a domain. So this is the Linux commands you normally use and eh? just to make sure you, uh, you understand and in Linux we're gonna write this to and now you're gonna say the path so the path is gonna be like again domain and then you're gonna say like we're gonna paste this in recon and we're gonna set this in assets.txt so now we did write something to the recon to asset.txt now we can run shell command, shell command, and you're gonna say we're gonna run the asset finder command. And what this will already do is this will run the command we just created. And this will write this to recon essence.txt. Yeah, so this is the basic structure about how I would, how I normally approach these things like when you first start to code it's going to be never this clean uh, but i like to clean things up after i'm done and put everything in a function so it's really easy for me to when i want to add something i'm just gonna i already have this basic functionality from writing reading making files making directories so i never need to repeat this again and if i want to add something what is what I'm going to use more and more. I just create a new function and I can add it. So this makes your code clean, re really reusable. And I think that's the best uh, way to create code. Okay, so I'm going to post this full script, this full working script on my Discord again. So if you don't want to try it on your own and expand this one for yourself, you can just join the Discord and uh, take the script but I highly recommend just trying this out and just yeah, trial and error, always good. Okay, again, really, really big thanks for watching and I hope I see you guys in the next video.